Hey, it's Mark again. Welcome back. Uh, today's video, I'm going to go over how a lower unit works. This one in particular is a 1989 OMC Cobra. So I'll give you a brief history on this thing. Uh, in spring of this year, I bought a 1989 Bayliner. Of course, it had the OMC engine and drive in it. Uh, the receipts they gave me said that this thing was rebuilt twice in the last year prior to me purchasing it. Uh, I used it exactly an hour and a half, started making a bunch of clunking and knocking noises when I was in gear, and rather than rebuild it a third time, I opted to go with an SEI replacement drive. And let me tell you, it's cheaper that way, easier, got a three year warranty, and this thing is completely junk. I've always wanted to cut one open and watch everything work, so now you can watch with me. So I'll show you what I found here when I cut this thing open. Almost every gear is broke or chipped. I'm sure all them shavings destroyed the seals, got into the bearings. Was not worth rebuilding this thing. I don't know whoever rebuilt it last time did something wrong, probably shimmed the gears wrong. They weren't grabbing right and it doesn't take much to destroy one of these if it's done wrong. And just for video purposes, uh, the shaft that was in here I had to use with the SEI drive, it just pulls right out. Uh, so I pounded a piece of wood in there so I can turn that. Then I welded a nut on the prop shaft so I can turn that. I'll try to film this and spin things the best I can. So what I'm going to do here, this is the, the shift lever. This moves up and down. It's a lot easier when the boat's running and the gears are spinning. But this basically, all that does is moves your clutch dog. Engages with either the forward gear or the reverse gear. Halfway up is in neutral. So when I put the camera down, I'm just gonna grab my hand here and spin what would be the drive shaft. And you can kind of see how this all works down here. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put a drill on the my broomstick handle or AKA drive shaft. It's gonna spin everything. Hopefully this all shows up. You can see your reverse gear, your forward gear, pinion gear, clutch dogs, and your prop shaft. So right now the boat is in neutral. So the prop shaft will spin freely. So I'll throw my drill up on top. So in neutral, all three gears spin. You'll notice the clutch dogs are not turning, the prop shaft is not turning. So as I'm doing that, I'm going to shift it. Alright, I'm going to shift it into reverse and you can see how that engages and what happens. Pull it back into neutral. Going forward. I'll try to get a little better shot here of the clutches. Uh, if you noticed, the prop shaft will run all the way through. It's splined, that's where the, the clutches slide onto the prop shaft. Runs all the way into the back with a bearing. So that shaft is not connected to the gears in any way. It just runs through the middle of them. But when you shift it, there's teeth on the inside. Can't really see them, but them clutch dogs grab the teeth on the inside of these gears. And when they grab them teeth, when the clutch dog starts spinning, then it in turn spins the drive shaft. I'll try to get a little better shot here of what's happening when you're shifting your boat. Uh, like I said, that shift lever moves up and down. That translates down to the shift mechanism here. It's a little easier when the gears are spinning for everything to fall into place. 
So right now I'm in forward, everything's turning. I'm gonna push that lever down in the neutral and then eventually down in the reverse. So that lever is pulling this up and down, which in turn is pushing and pulling the clutch dogs and engaging them with either the reverse gear or the forward gear. Another reason I chose not to rebuild this is on top of the new gears, new bearings, new seals, new drive shafts. I probably need about six or eight hundred dollars worth of specialty tools to take it apart the right way and I'm likely never gonna rebuild an OMC outdrive again. I do have all the tools for alphas and a lot more familiar with those. Uh, this is set up similar to an alpha same kind of concept down below here but after that there's quite a few differences so next I'm just gonna start taking things apart obviously a lot easier now when half of its cut open uh, shift rod I'll start there basically just unscrews screws into the shift mechanism once you get it out it just pulls straight out the top There we go. Set that down. Here's your shift rod. Next I'll pull the bearing carrier out. Uh, there's four bolts in there. Ideally you would need a puller to pull it out, but I can just get behind it now and tap it with a hammer. It should pop right out. There's that. See, there's a bearing inside of there. And flip it over. Another bearing on the other end. There's an O ring around here. And then last but not least, your prop shaft seal in that end. Now, once that's out, there's a shim. And a thrust bearing that pulls off. And then there's two clips in here that hold everything else on. There, now you can see it. I'm gonna pound those out or pry them out. Again, I'm sure there's a tool that's designed to reach in there and grab those, but I don't have it. There's your two snap rings that come out. Once those are out, pull this plate out. And you can pull your reverse gear out. Take a look at what this one looks like. Got chips there, chips there, chips over there not in good shape. Here's a better shot of the, the teeth that the clutch dogs grab. Well unfortunately that's about as far as I can go without torches and cutting wheels but uh, gives you a pretty good understanding. There's the splines that the clutch dog rides on on the prop shaft. You can see better now what the clutch dogs grab inside the gears. Uh, there is a nut on the bottom of the, the vertical shaft and of course you need special tools uh, to get that off. Just not getting into that today. I hope this video helped. I found it very interesting. Uh, if and when I do decide to cut more and torch more, I'll post more videos, more pictures, but that's it for today. Thanks for watching.